After all my great punishes, let's go to, well, at least, yeah, let's say I was punished for not playing this piece of uh, this game. So, yeah, I mean, he played really well. I didn't perform when I had the chance and more than deserved victory from Eugenius. And now we are on to great finals. Great finals, let's, rem let's remind that it's best of five although the the turn is turned out to 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 be a bit longer than i expected but oh well we've got time today and yeah it's already started that's the first first game of the grand finals last two players Oh, Eugenius decided to go to, with Kemi this time, hoping the matchup would be better for him. Although, might be that Kuro has even more, even more familiarity with this matchup than than uh, against Vega. And well, to be honest, I think his Vega is really, is really good. I mean, plays really well. Well, well. On the other hand, Kemi plays really well by herself. That. That's what I heard. So yeah, who knows? Now the pressure begins. I think he missed a few dives, but still got poor in corner. Oh, very good reaction. Yeah, that's something that miss he misses with Vega. But that's again a gene combo. It won't take for life but he'll be in comfortable position to end it with the next one Kuro on the verge of taking the first game and 1-0 for Kuro let's see what Eugenius decides to do right now will he go to character selection yeah let's see if he decided to go to just take a breather or oh and we see Vega that's like the Americans say, that's a move I can respect. I, I honestly think he also has better chance to to win with Vega than with Kemi. Don't know, Kemi might be all that much higher on the, the tier list, but on the other hand, characters very often use are much more better prepared against, so... And Kuro is one who puts his hours and practice mode into knowing the matchup. So, I would say that, yeah, there's a better chance for Vega even in that regard. Besides him playing it, playing him quite well. Oh, very nice link. And, yeah. Oh, very gra great, great bait. Yeah, let's, yeah. Vega actually is one of the fastest walking characters. Is it? Probably. Uh, yeah, paired to his very good car throw, made for great footsies, which Yun has to respect. Oh, good punish, didn't know that was punishable. One learns something about Street Fighter every time, every time. Especially if one doesn't play talk. Oh, and... Ooh! Ah, very good reaction, but missed! A meaty combo. With that mix-up, super turbo style. Oh, but he managed to land a dive kick and now the situation... Oh, it's super... That was a really important throw. Was this a mix... Uh, a cross-up even? That's pretty fucking scary, if I can say so. Oh, I can, because we are... Uh, we are... Under 18 uh, streams, so yeah. I can cast a little... You genius! Bringing that Vega and making him work. Oh, Kuro with a very early stun and that's with a throw, so we'll get full damage on the next combo. In a very... 
in a great reset. No one could see that coming. Well, maybe some do, but we we for sure didn't. So yeah, one off for Kuro. Who feels he has something to show before having to switch back to his main, or let's say character who's who he is much more known for. And now the full damage in combo. I'd do the A, A, A thing if I wasn't so tired, but... Uh, um, and the troll, let's see. Is this the chance for Eugenius to come back in the third game? Ooh, that's... that's a tasty combo. Everything still open. Ooh, the mesh hard kick. No, actually, it's we punished like a pro. Uh huh. Good choice. Let's see. Oh, the X. Kuro went for the for the focus, but but yeah, the double hit hit dropped him. Mm. Now it's all open, but Kuro got the advantage on the. Third game. So that is the round. Third game. Good entire and now Eugene is back in the game. Who are putting that pressure on? Oh, takes some very far. And now it's time for Eugene to land a strong combo. And that. Ooh. Kuro with that preemptive jump in. Oh, well, it was his game two times. Uh, uh, best of five, so first to three. One more game or two or three or whatever, however you want. Two all for Kuro, but we're playing uh, best of five, so two, two, one, two, one. Eugenius almost had it, but Kuro really won with anticipating the jump out. That was. That's also how he really beat me quite handily. The jumping first, expecting the, the jump up and hitting first. Yeah, that's a skill one really develops by being by playing a lot and being really good at mind games. Oh a very good focus into Ultra. And the round still open. Oh, nice, nice, nice play from Eugenius. That's 1 0 in the fourth game. 2 0 for 2 1 for Kuro in games. Best of five. Uh, noticed the frame disadvantage and went rightfully went for a throw. Very good with punish. Yeah, with, with, with punishing throws, something. Yeah, that's pretty much required on high level, but yeah, it's something I really seldom see around here. Oh, it was quite a risk, but yeah. Turned out well for Eugenius, and now anticipating or reacting. Who knows? That, yeah, yeah, very good reaction was that. Oh, the dive kick. Very good blocks. Decided not to do anything stupid. Great focus to get some air. Ooh! Try the car throw. And Kuro going for the chip. And... Ooh! That was great. That was great. That was the first mesh he did after a long time. And it was a dang good one. And 2-2. Two -two. Now Eugenius has a chance to reset the bracket. Oh, does he have a combo after that? Oh, probably not without special. No combo. Too far away after the dive kick. Mm, nice link. And decides not to go for the jump in. Yeah. 
very good throws. He's got the movement advantage, range, range advantage, and also damage potential from certain distances. <gasps> uh, full level, level two, and very good with focusing. Very great, great, great focus by Eugenius. And yeah, that's it. Wait. No, he didn't wait. And that's the time when an ultra has to be respected. Oh, a uh, great punish. He missed. We whipped. Uh, da yeah, he missed his intention. We wanted to do dive and missed in execution. And got punished correctly. Not by a throw, which I really have to remind to the Slovenian population. Oh, great anticipation of backdash. Ooh, Kara throw Zangief style. Great. And you genius on the verge of resetting the bracket right now. Oh, oh that mix up, one move mix up for Half Life. No level one tries to go for focus, releases early, well played. And Kuro going aggro. Will he manage? No. Yeah, he missed that one. Ooh! That was great, and Eugenius manages to reset the bracket. And that's... So that's reset, is it? Right? Yeah, yeah, right, reset. So they decide, decide to go for a rematch without any pause. Kuro feeling confident he can still... He, he still got everything under control. And Eugenius with that momentum, having taken the last two games in a row, and manage, managing. Oh! Woo! Now that's the time when real good players shine. They play well until they pull out an ultra. Oh, no confirm, but that was deep. No, actually, there were not. No confirms possible there. Oh. And that could be it. Good blocks, but who was going for the chip? Eugenius noticing it, just meshed away, hoping for the best. But Kura smartly waited, and that's that's one of in rounds. Oh, very good focus. No misses the combo, but still got a mix-up. This time he he tried to hit it a bit too deep, and Kura was rewarded with a free combo. Which he missed. Oh, if that, if there's anything really nice about playing against uh, Yoon is kicking his ass when he's got Genji inactivated. That's that's one of the nicest things from Third Strike, apart from getting comboed by said Genji. Oh, very good, patient, patient play by Eugenius. Didn't whip and got an anti air, but Kuro's got. Momentum in this game, no focus level 2 this time. Oh, and he got the throw. Let's see how, how he moved. And he baits it! And that's game. That's game 2 to Eugenius. Round 2 to Eugenius. Very close one. Let's remind... Oh, simple but effective frame trap, and it's a standing card. Vega's strongest combo starter. Oh, decided to wait, baited Kura Santa here. Yeah, Vega's damage really proves to be high against Yun. And now that's the swing of momentum, which gets stopped by Kuro's activation of Genijin, and that's gonna be a great block from Eugenius, and that's a great link, and 1-0, first game to Eugenius, working his way up to a perfect comeback. 1-0 for Eugenius on the... Winners finals on the reset round.
good read by Kuro, and now with Vega in corner, but another good read, and we're back to neutral. The two genius. Yeah, this time Kuro got the anti-air anti correct, but in general, if you if you pull a line under all the circumstances when Kuro tried to react, I can I cannot but notice that uh, if they were considerably into Vega's favor till now. Maybe he just chose that, or maybe that move isn't that... Oh, that's a few casual hit and power dash throw is really what what Eugenius has been using this all the time to put Kuro off guard, and that's a guaranteed chip. Very patient. And Kuro on one round under in the second game. Let's remind that Eugenius already managed a reset. So he can play with confidence, but yeah, Kuro's a tough one. You can't really let your guard down. And on top of that, he still got his trump card, Akuma, when everything goes bad. We'll see, we'll see. There's a lot of game. Ah, and that's also a good option. Well, ah, this time he managed to punish him. He missed two times, but he was always too far for to punish the Ultra. Yeah, that Ultra moves very far. And yeah, a very good cross-up. Eugenius was already on the rope, having to care also for the chip damage, and that's 1-1. One, one. And a very good reaction on the focus, and Kuro learned himself, so full combo. Yeah, still, with what's not a combo is quite a decent reset, and he used the damage from Genijin. Now working on a perfect, now works, oh, and that will be perfect for the equalizer, 1-1 one, one in the in the decisive match. Kuro, that, that must, he surely regained a bit of confidence and peace right now. Ooh, a great focus again by Eugenius. Very good, he waited a bit, and then, but yeah, the end was in air. Ooh, this time for full damage with the X. Safe jump setup, to attack well, oh, this two hit string, yeah, has netted Kuro, fight some success against Eugenius' focus attempt. Let's see how the mix-up goes. The mix-up again in favor of Eugenius and Kuros one or two hits away from losing the first round. Let's see. Oh, would guess with that dive goes for the chip. Now Kuro has to do something, otherwise he'll get chip. Let's see. Oh, Ultra. Uh, this time he smartly jumped back, so in order to not miss the, his punish attempt, and that was it. First round to Kuro, which really, who really adapted a bit, and yeah, he's not making the mistakes of... Oh, building for another perfect. That's really unpleasant. Kuro on the corner, Vega, oh, with that mesh, very nice, very nice, very nice choice. He knows Yun strings by heart. And now everything's still open, <laughs> and Kuro misses that reaction, which apparently isn't a good one. Jumps, Vega manages to cross under with a slide, but he's a hit away. Now he's a oh, now there is a chip away. Let's see what what happens. The mix up, ah, this time Kuro got it right and advances to 2 1 in the grand finals, second and decisive set. Two one, that might be the last game. Now Eugenius has to concentrate a bit, decides to take a break from the character selection and also a stage change. Oh, the epic stage where all epic finals are disputed like this and probably no other because everyone loves so much that the training mode which I really hate. Oh. So Kuro started well for the last round. 
Oh no. That user disrupting the productive atmosphere of this great finals with some uh, ambiguous, ambiguous exclamation on the stream chat, which I, I'll leave to you for the next time. Here in, in the meantime, on the other stages, we have Eugenius almost taking the first round, but Furo attacking. And now let's see. Oh! Let's see. Oh! Eugenius anticipated the jump attempt and pressed H very, very early. That's great play. That's, that's great adaptation. And that's a great move because it's a mix up in the mix up. It creates so many mix up possibilities because it forces the opponent to take a guess and take a risk. And in the case of damage, Vega against Dune, probably it's quite uh, for Vega. That's. Yeah, we could. Oh, and that's a fat combo on Eugenius's part. And Genegin with full ultra activation. Let's see how it goes. Uro definitely coming back in this game. Very good block by Kuro, but but that was Kuro using the frame advantage or at least having the balls to push first. And that's Equalizer. Again, very good focus for a great opening of the decisive round here. New Genius taking a very solid lead this time. Good reaction on Kuro's empty jump. And another tick throw, a uh, Kara throw for far, far away. Is that the perfect comeback? And that's 2-2. Two, two. Last game now. That's the sensation from Germany, Eugenius. Let's see how it goes. Both players know there's no fuck-ups right now, but they did really, really few fuck-ups in the whole match, if any. I couldn't notice any. This match is really high level. Good decision from Kuro. Yeah, he started to attack a bit less. Very good answers by Kuro. Just suddenly, I, I think I noticed, I'm, I'm noticing a bit of a change of pace by Kuro. And now, yeah, he started to attack again and got on the receiving end of Wilfing as Shoryu. But still, aggressive Kuro is going to take this one, wait it a bit, then punish the backdash. And Kuro! Kuro on the verge of winning it all. Match point for Kuro. And now reacted to a focus, which, yeah, strangely, he didn't try until now, although the genius focuses were, were mostly targeting die kicks. Oh, very good reaction. Not letting Kuro jump away. Game's open. Great punish for jumps. Oh, excellent quick punish, and, and Eugenius wanting to take this to the final round. But there's always Kuro with full super bar. Oh, great, great. Eugenius already had it, but missed the link. Kuro tried to escape, but Eugenius was very much ready and punished his back jump. Now it's all open. Kuro's got the meter advantage, but everything can happen. Oh yeah, especially Genegin. Ooh, didn't manage to anti-air him in time. And Eugenius also, also, also used a very deep attack, and now he's... Let's see what happens there. This one's very tense. Oh! What's gonna happen? Decides not to risk him. Oh! Bates the focus! Very well played.